It's ONG time. I'm on birthing suite and there's still no babies. So that was quite nice and quick. I'll give you a bit of a tour of the birthing suite. Everything was sort of like a big mush of different colors and consistencies. Good morning. This week is my first week of my obstetrics and gynecology rotation, which I have been waiting for since before I even got into medical school. I'm so excited to experience the birthing process, meet the tiny little babies afterwards, all of it. I'm so excited for this week, for this rotation, and I'm really hoping that you enjoy coming along with me. If you're new to my channel, my name is Laura. I'm a fourth year medical student in Sydney, Australia. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and stay tuned for everything that is about to come. for today. We ended up getting through them much quicker than they'd anticipated so instead of finishing at 4 we're finishing at 12.30. I've still got a lot of reading left to do this afternoon of the guides for the rotation, all of our logbook tasks and I also have to print out my logbook as well. So I'm going to do all of that really quickly right now. Got it done. It was a bit of a mission and I accidentally printed it on cardboard. So I've just got a couple of errands to run on the way home. I have to go and get some plastic sleeves for my logbook and stop off at the post office. Kind of want to buy sushi, but we'll see how it goes. Made it home. I've got my nice little folder. My logbook is 49 pages. A little bit of context, I just finished a mental health rotation. If you're interested in seeing what that was like, I will link it up here. But we had one page. Don't get me wrong, it's fantastic because it gives you such a good guide of what you're actually looking out for in your placements, but whew, it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow at the hospital where we are gonna birth some babies. So exciting. <laughs> Good morning. Today is the day. I spent the entire afternoon yesterday reading through my logbook and memorized how to do a C-section. I'm so keen. I've just arrived at the hospital. I've parked like so far away. I should probably get walking because I've got a class in 18 minutes. So just a really quick rundown of today. We're arriving at 7.30. We have a tutorial from eight till nine, then a four hour orientation two more tutorials and then I am heading into the operating theatres. I am very lost and have no idea where I'm going. Why the ID cards always look so terrible? Okay, we finished off the orientation for the morning. I've just had some lunch. Now I'm going to get my things together and head across to the theatres. In the theatres, ready to go. We've got a hysterectomy this afternoon, just a little bit of a delay before we get started, but hopefully it won't be too long. So there's a bit of a delay on the surgery, so I've just come back to our little medical student common room, just for half an hour to wait it out. It's just after 4.30 and I'm changed back into my maroon scrubs and am finished for the day. Once the patient checked in and we were able to get on with the surgery, it probably only took us about two hours, maybe just over two hours to perform a hysterectomy. And that was the only surgery on the OBS and GYN list this afternoon. There was one C-section this morning, but unfortunately because of the orientation, I missed it. It was really great though. The consultant explained every single step along the way. I got to scrub in, so I was right there seeing what was happening. I assisted in closing, got a couple of things signed off in my logbook, and I'm finishing an hour earlier than I was expecting to anyway, so nine hour day is not too bad. I'm probably going to get my things together now and head home. That was so funny. As I was going to leave, the main doors were closed because there was an elderly patient trying to abscond, and I said to the doctor, I was like, oh, one of those days, and she was like, kill me now, and honestly, <laughs> I get it. Oh, is that 
rain is actually so cold. Just thought I'd pop in with a bit of a recap of the day. I had a blast. It was so much fun. Honestly, every single staff member that I met and interacted with were so lovely. I actually don't think I've encountered such a warm welcome from a surgical team before and one that was also as female centric, which it's just so cool to me, even still. It shouldn't be such a big issue, but it is because most surgeons that I've had anything to do with are male. So to have a female consultant and a female registrar, it was really nice. We had a tour of the whole hospital. It's not my usual hospital and it's not a massive hospital. The hospital that I'm usually based at, which is where I've been since first year, it's where I did my mental health rotation. That hospital is much bigger, whereas this is more the outlying hospital for that health district. So quite a bit smaller, less resources, less staff, less patients, which isn't ideal when you're hoping to see as many births as you can. But it also means that you have generally more of an opportunity to be hands-on. I'm also with quite a small group of people. There's only eight of us from my university that are on the rotation and they're all super lovely. So I think it's going to be a really great rotation. It's just after five now. It took me about 15 minutes to walk back in the rain. So I'm going to head home. And I'm not sure. I should probably read up again on how to deliver a baby because tomorrow I'm on the morning shift in the delivery suites. So fingers crossed it's the day that I see my first baby be born. Oh I also forgot to say that in addition to scrubbing in and also assisting with closing up in the operation I got to put in the catheter which is a skill I haven't practiced in a very long time but it went pretty good so that's another positive. They were just super keen to have me involved it was honestly amazing. Okay last little addition I promise but for the first time today as well, in an operating theatre, I actually felt like I knew what was happening. Back in third year when I did my surgical terms, everything was sort of like a big mush of different colours and consistencies. Whereas today, I actually knew what layers we were cutting through, what structures we were removing, what the blood supply was, what the nerve supply was like, and it was so much cooler than the surgeries that I did last year when I had no clue what was happening. I've never really been one of those people that are surgically inclined. But honestly, after today, I can see the appeal. So watch this space because maybe I'll become a surgeon. Good morning. It is 6.30 and today's the day I'm on birthing suite and hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to see a baby be brought into the world. There was so much traffic this morning, so I'm running a little bit late. I've got 10 minutes until a handover and I still have to go and drop off all of my things. I'm also a bit lost. I'm wandering through a park because all of the normal car parking spaces were all full. So hopefully we get there, hopefully I find it, hopefully they don't hate me from a couple minutes late. I made it with seven minutes to spare. So I've arrived on the unit and there aren't any patients. So I'm just gonna sit here and study until hopefully we get a lady turn up who's in labor. There's still nobody on the wards about to give birth. So I'm going into the operating theaters to see a small gynecological procedure. So that was quite nice and quick. That was a hysteroscopy, a DNC and a marina insertion. It took about half an hour, so pretty efficient. I'm just going to get changed back into my ward scrubs and then head back to birthing unit and hopefully there is a mother to be about to have her little baby. There's still no one in the birthing unit. I just want to see a baby be born. It's so quiet. I even went by the radiology department to see if there were any antenatal scans happening today, any dating ultrasounds, growth scans, anything like that, and there's none. So very, very quiet. Not the day that I'd been hoping for. It is still only like 9.30, but I wanted to see more babies than this. <laughs> still no babies. We've had one mother present in very very early labor so she was sent home again. I did get to feel her tummy and take the baby's heart rate though which was really cool but unfortunately he's not ready to come out yet so she's gone home and the ward is once again empty. So I'll give you a bit of a tour of the birthing suite. This is the assessment room where the women come 
in the early stages of labour to see if they need to be admitted to the birthing suite. We've had two patients come through here this morning but neither one needed to be admitted so I think what I'm going to do now is just review some patient notes and then maybe go and have a chat to some of the postpartum mothers on the maternity ward. post-op gyne patient and she's doing much better today than she was yesterday which is very reassuring it's two o'clock now and i'm gonna head home there are still no patients in the birthing unit though very disappointed i was really hoping to see a little baby be brought into the world today but i guess it just wasn't meant to be <music> So that actually brings me to the end of my clinical week because we're going into the long weekend so I get tomorrow off. It was a little bit less exciting than I'd hoped for. I was really excited to see a birth this week, which didn't happen, but that means you just have to come back next week. Despite the fact that there weren't many patients, I'm still enjoying this rotation a bit more, I think, than the mental health rotation, which I'd had previously. This one already feels a lot more hands-on, a lot more clinical. There's already been a lot more opportunity for clinical teaching, particularly from the midwives. They've been absolutely amazing, teaching me how to read all the different monitors that we use in labor. After I went and saw my hysterectomy patient today, I met up with the consultant, and again, they walked me through everything, answered a whole bunch of questions, which is just fantastic, and you don't generally get at the bigger tertiary hospitals Hospitals, which is sort of nice to be in a nice little outlying hospital for a change. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. If you're new to my channel and have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll be back next week, hopefully, where we'll be delivering some babies.